Dear viewers, welcome to my TV channel. My name is Arif Kadim. Whenever people come to Australia or New Zealand, one of the first things they become familiar with is GST, which is a tax and it stands for Goods and Services Tax. GST is applied at 10% onto almost all goods and services consumed or uh, used in Australia and 15% on the same in New Zealand. People, especially accounting students or newcomers to work, often get confused with calculating or finding GST amounts. Today we will learn all the quick tricks to calculate or find GST. Dear viewers, in this sheet uh, we can see that there are five different problems that we are going to uh, solve. So what we can see at number one, it says how to add GST or increase amount by percentage. So as we already know that in Australia GST is 10%. So you may get an amount where you need to add GST for any reason, either to buy something or to sell something. So let's take the example here, like we have $100. Now it's asking us to add GST. So we will use the next column to it. So what we have to do, we put the equal sign as we know to do any formula, we you know, generally use equal sign to start with. Then we click the amount we want to use to do this calculation. So 100 in this case, then multiplication sign, and we put 1.1. This point 1 here is actually 10%. Uh, if you have watched my uh, previous clips, you would have seen that um, I showed different techniques. So if it's 1.2, that would mean it's 20%, 1.3, 30%, 1.9, 90%. But GST is 10%, so simply it will be 1.1. So we simply hit enter. Now, without GST it's 100, and with GST it's now 110. So that's how we have to do it. We can always see in this formula bar, you know the calculation how it has been done so 1.1 so multiplication then secondly how to get x GST amount so you may have the total sum somewhere let's say you bought something or you're going to sell something now you want to find out how much it cost without GST so what we have to do it will be a bit other way around so again the same way so equal sign, click the amount. I must tell you that $110 has GST. Now we need to find out how much the GST is or how much the amount without GST. So what we have to do, in this case we have to do the division sign, then we have to put 1.1. At number one we did multiplied by 1.1, here divided by 1.1 and we'll get that hundred dollars. I know on the top of our head we can easily you know uh, do this calculation but just think that if you get an odd number like nine hundred ninety dollars here in case then uh, you have been asked the same question to do then how do you do obviously you know you have to use your calculator or excel to do this so that's why it's good to know the right trick to do the right calculation so going forward number three problem how to get only GST amount so at number one, we actually increased the amount, that means by adding GST. At number two, we actually uh, wanted to get the GST free amount, so without GST, how much it is. And at number three, we are going to get GST amount in this case. So what we have to do, the equal sign, then you click the amount. Then again, we have to do the division sign here, and then 11 so here it's a little bit different it's not 1.1 because as you do 11 it will give you only gst amount so gst amount is 10 dollars in this case so many students i have seen that you know they get really confused when doing this calculation so you have to learn this you have to do a lot of practice now number four how to get percentage so let's say we need to get uh, 10 percent of this hundred dollars so we do the equal sign as usual 
click the amount then multiplied by 10 for example we need to get 10 percent for example so we put the percentage sign so okay, everything is available on your keyboard so you can find them and then hit enter and you get 10 so that means if somebody asks you uh, what would be the percentage uh, like 10 percent of hundred dollars so that's what it is now lastly you may have seen in my uh, previous video clip that how to decrease amount so to do that again equal sign the amount we need so we have to decrease so that's why we have to use minus sign here then we have to do a little bit of calculation that's why we need to choose some brackets so this bracket and then we again click 100 multiplied by 10 let's say uh, we want to decrease it by that so we put the percentage and close the bracket and hit enter so we decreased it by actually um, 10 percent in this case so again you go back to the formula bar and you can see here that 10 percent decrease from this hundred dollars so that's how actually we need to do all these things. So dear viewers, so in this shade, let's do some exercise now. So I have made it convenient for you. So I would like to ask you guys to open up an Excel spreadsheet and type all these numbers. Put the number one, $200, two, 220, 220, 200, 200. What we did, um, you know, previously, exactly the same thing, but with different numbers this time. So you get to actually do this exercise. So please do again by, you know, uh, by 10%. So you increase it by 10%. Then uh, how to get X GST amount. If you remember, so what you have to do, you have to keep your Excel spreadsheet open. At the same time, watch video clip again in order for you to actually um, accurately and correctly, you know, do this. So I'm sure that you will enjoy it. After that, I would ask you to give different numbers. Maybe you can put like 500 here, and then maybe whatever you like, 550, and then do this. So do next to it again. So the more you do, uh, the much clearer you, know, you will be day by day. So once you do a lot of practice, I'm sure when you do your work, the assignments or everything at, you know, at the school, college, university, or even at work, your life will be a lot easier. You don't have to ask anyone. You, you should be able to actually help others. I hope you all have enjoyed this clip. So I again urge you to uh, do as much practice as you can and help others. Thank you very much for watching Arit's Education Tip. If you like this video clip, please do not forget to put your thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much. You know she's never